Hey everybody, it's Queen of Light 1111. I hope you're all doing well. I am here with a collective reading for all of you. I'm using all of my self-created decks. These decks are obviously all created by me. This is a Queen's Journey Tarot and a Queen's Journey Oracle. This is what I'm using for Divine Feminine's energy today. And then we have the Divine Connections Oracle and the Divine Connections Tarot. And I am using that for Divine Masculine's energy today. All of these are available on my website at queenoflight1111.com. And if you want to purchase your own healing session, coaching session, or your own personal reading, go to queenoflight1111.com as well. And if my readings have helped you, give you guidance or support on your journey, then don't um, hesitate to click the thanks button as your energy exchange so I can continue to do these free, free readings for all of you. I'm excited uh, to do this reading, but I've got to tell you, the energies are a little heavy, okay? We are in the pre-shadow phase of Mercury retrograde. So Mercury retrograde comes in. It's not a bad retrograde, okay? Any retrograde that a planet goes through is for a purpose. And Mercury happens to be one where we go back and take a look at ourselves, take a look at our lessons. has a lot to do with communication and travel and details, um, Mercury is in the, is in the earth sign. I believe it's in the sign of Virgo. Virgo is all about analysis, all about details. Okay. And so we are going to look at divine masculine and feminine's most significant overall energies towards each other. Their most significant thoughts, feelings, what's happening in their environment as related to each other. And then finally, we're going to get some messages from them for them from spirit on their own personal journey. So let's start with Divine Feminine. Traitor, Ace of Cups, the ship card. She is reflecting on the deception. She's reflecting on this backstabbing. She is reflecting on Divine Masculine really being a traitor towards her pure and divine love. Okay, and she's really focused on how to move forward, how to keep going on this journey. Her most significant overall energy towards masculine is root chakra, nine of pentacles, and the communication card, the birds. If you're seeing a lot of birds, this could be a sign for you. Root chakra is all about the chakra of safety, stability, personal needs. Okay, it's really all about, you know, focusing on everything that you need in your 3D world. And so she's focused on her confidence. She's focused on her independence. She's focused on this energy of building her home, building a life, her career. Okay, and that is what she is, is focused on right now. She may have also perhaps wanted to make contact or wanted to have communication with masculine, but she's staying in her confidence. She's staying in this very, very single, independent and self-sufficient energy and not chasing in divine masculine's bottom of the deck we have on the road to union the death card and head of pack which is about success so if there was any energies for masculine where he thought he was on the road on the road to union those have ended ended any success he is feeling like he's going through a shadow so his most significant overall energy we have archangel metatron this is all about clarity Okay, so he's trying to gain clarity about how to make an offer, but he's feeling very, very burdened. He's feeling a lot of baggage. He's feeling a lot of shame, a lot of guilt, a lot of regret. He's feeling cursed, probably because of this traitor energy that Divine Feminine is moving through. Divine Feminine's most significant thought when she thinks of masculine is like, this dude's not awake to how to be a master. He's not awakened to how to balance out himself, to lift this connection out of negativity. So in her most significant thought, she's like, he's just not awake. He's not awake to his mastery. He's not awake to his, um, his power. He's not awake to respond. Divine Masculine's most significant thought is he's really nurturing his over-analysis, Seven of Pentacles. He's in this energy of nurturing this analysis, nurturing this pause. It's like analysis paralysis on a new beginning. This is that over, overly analytical Mercury energy, right? Virgo energy. Too much 
too much analysis, too much of a pause around a new beginning. Most significant feeling for Divine Feminine when she feels for Masculine, she wants him to be the magician, a master of his emotions, a master of his mind, a master of his passion, a master of his integrity, his truth, his emotions, his stability. And that's where she'll work together with him. That's where they can collaborate when, we're, when they're both in this place of mastery. But right now, there is suspension. There's suspension because he is in a state of analysis. She knows this. She knows that he's not in his mastery to move forward. So she's focusing on herself while he gains clarity and gets himself out of this burden. Divine Masculine's most significant feeling is Archangel Zadkiel, all about release. He's releasing his thoughts. He's releasing his coldness towards divine feminine. He's releasing this iciness that he may have towards divine feminine because he's overly in his thought and he doesn't have clarity. It's very interesting because release and hanged man, hanged man is about sacrifice. Hanged man is about release. What is she's releasing? She's releasing working together until he's in mastery. He's releasing this energy of being icy and cold towards his divine feminine, who is anything but icy when you're the goddess of love. Environment for divine feminine with the banished card. This is my separation card in my deck. Banished, death, and stalemate. In her environment, she wants to end the separation. But no one's compromising. They're not meeting halfway. There's a standoff between them. You can't chase the masculine into ending separation. You can't do that. You have to both be in a place of some sort of mastery, some sort of alignment to work together, to come into union. But we can't be holding these types of energies. We've got to move through them. We've got to end them for success. Divine masculine's environment as related to his feminine. He's distorted. Distorted masculine is all about the energy of someone who doesn't have their emotions, their thoughts, their stability, their passion aligned. They're distorted. They're all over the place. He's really trying to end this distortion over this ending with divine feminine. Right, lots of energies here about distortion or unawakened. There's a lack of mastery because we've gone back to look at how much we've grown. Have we grown? Have we become more aligned? Or do we still need to release this connection until it comes back in in divine timing? So until then, Divine Feminine is doing the right thing, focused on herself, on her confidence, on her self-sufficiency. Masculine's very focused on gaining clarity, how to make an offer in the 3D for a new beginning. But he's got to release this energy of being icy. He's got to get into this energy of integrity, of his wisdom, of honesty. So let me leave you with some messages from spirit, for divine feminine, this is the scroll, the message, seven of cups and stallion. The message for divine feminine on her personal journey is, you know, maybe you're getting very, very confusing messages. Maybe you're getting very confusing downloads. Maybe you're confused about the chaos and the procrastination around how things are going. And it's because the yin and the yang, the masculine and the feminine within you may even be off balance. We spend a lot of time looking at masculine, but spirit is saying, look at yourself too. Divine masculine's message, destruction. This is that tower card in the 5D, destruction of the king of wands and the bouquet. So masculine's going through a major, major tower moment, two times here in the environment and here it's showing up. The message is this crumbling of the world as you knew it. Is crumbling your ego, crumbling arrogance, 
crumbling selfishness that you were taking in as, as happiness. You were being self, selfish, not unconditional. So it's an energy of that fake happiness being destroyed for authentic happiness and love. Who's the goddess of love? Divine feminine. This is where he learns it. I hope this reading has helped all of you. I apologize for the format in which I am taking this video, but I've got some personal stuff happening and um, that just requires my attention. And we'll be back to my beautiful altar when I am uh, back in that, in that sacred space. But here, I want to be able to continue to deliver for all of you because I know we all need some guidance. We all need some help and continue to operate in this self-love and don't give too much to this energy. Continue to move forward. For masculine, yes, the on the road to union has ended at this time until he completes certain energies of distortion and he goes through this completion of certain energies for himself to come into his own alignment. And while he's doing that, feminine will do the same. Have a great day, everybody. And if you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. Have a great day. Bye.